Here we're looking at a mid-sagittal view of the female reproductive system. We're going to start with some landmark structures, go anterior to posterior. So here, this adipose tissue is called the mons pubis. You move backwards, you end up with the pubic bone here. Underneath that, when I take this off, you'll be able to see the pubic symphysis, the cartilage in between. Here you have the urinary bladder with the ureter, and the uterus here, and the rectum here. You can also see the urogenital diaphragm. Uh, below that, you can see the external anal sphincter. Um, here would be the labia minora. This would be the labia majora. If we look deeper into this structure, we see a couple of other things. This right here is the ovary. Attached to that, which anchors it to the uterus wall, is the ovarian ligament, this light-colored one. Tube. Uh, and this tube here, this pinkish colored tube, this is the uh, fallopian tube or oviduct or uterine tube. Any of those terms are acceptable. These little finger-like projections that you see here, these are called fimbriae. This is the big difference, uh, at least visually on these models, between the uterine tube and the ovarian ligament. Look for those fimbriae, that's your indicator. Uh, this right here is the round ligament, and this tissue in here, this yellowish tissue, sort of covers all of this. That is called the broad ligament. There's also a suspensory ligament that's not shown on here, but it would follow this blood supply here, and this helps to anchor the ovary to the body wall. If we take this apart, open it up, you can see a couple other structures. Here is that pubic synthesis that I said before, so that sits between the pubic bones. Here's the urinary bladder. Coming out of that, you have the urethra. This is the uterus. And coming out of there, you have the vagina. And then, of course, this is the rectum and the anus. A couple of other structures that uh, we need to talk about. You've got, as I mentioned before, the labia minora, labia majora. Uh, anterior to that, you're going to find the clitoris. And we also have different regions to the uterus. So this dome-shaped portion is called the fundus. This section here, the large section, is called the body, and this narrow portion is called the cervix. The opening into the vagina from the cervix, this little opening right here, that's called the external os.